watch Roblox drama today with a Roblox influencer pretending to be dying of cancer. The clout rebooted Poppy and Ringhead to get even worse. Roblox made a massive mistake and much, much more. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're new and watch this video until the end because this video is crazy. So first story comes in with a Roblox Twitter influencer called Small Bear, also known as Mafia Bear, basically faking having stage 3 cancer and being at hospital. Basically what he was trying to do was he was consistently asking people for donations and receiving donations from people who actually believed and were manipulated into thinking this guy legitimately had cancer and his life was at risk. This guy received tons of donations from people attempting to aid and help him and he was saving these donations up allegedly to get a Dominus and that, that would have never happened. Dude, you literally need millions. And he was literally guilt tripping these people by saying, slide me some because I'm here right now and then shows like a hospital. Obviously, probably he wasn't in the hospital. Well, this was until he broke the news that he had quote unquote cancer by stating, all right guys, I think it's time to reveal I have stage three lung cancer. I might not live for long. So if I die, this account will be ran by others. Then he quote tweeted this by stating, going to do a few tests now with an image of what people believe to be them. It was like an arm out and a bunch of like needles in the arms and blood stuff coming out. Well, this was until Google reverse search image came in and people came around to find out that this image originated from another Twitter user called Sarah who actually took this picture ages ago talking about their sepsis. As soon as it was revealed that this guy essentially faked his cancer and pretended that the image was indeed him when it wasn't by basically just stealing it from a, their account, the tweet actually got fact checked and he received tons of backlash on such a monolithic scale of people of course justifiably calling him out for this because why and how did you think that you were able just to fake cancer like this and get away with it like your actions were gonna catch up to you someday he was even attempting to double down on it in dms of people stating how it was really him but all was lost and he was losing the respect of many of his friends very quickly like he literally faked cancer and tricked people into donating to him to try and get money to buy a dominus because make a wish foundation would never have contacted roblox to get him an item because he was quite literally faking it obviously for clout and attention i feel bad for the people who literally donated to this guy with the kindness of their heart just to find out this guy literally just scammed them now after the backlash was becoming too much to bear from big roblox twitter influences and multiple of them because keep in mind this drummer was literally getting hundreds of likes he actually basically decided to deactivate permanently and is still deactivated to this day and someone with discord messages of allegedly the person who faked cancer being small bear basically stating i have this guilt yeah but faking cancer is damn bad and then the final screenshot stating i'm sorry for what i've done but i don't think you guys should forgive me i don't deserve another chance now obviously he is a kid he is 14 and this was a massive mistake they did but i don't think they should be entirely defined by it for the rest of their life obviously they should definitely just take a step back from the internet and wait one or two years to properly gather themselves and then come back after that maybe under a different alias because faking cancer on the internet to get money and connections and clout and attention is just not it once again it was a major mistake and he was never gonna get a dominus from faking cancer but i don't think he should be bombarded for it because he was pretty young and he did make a dumb mistake now next topic comes in with the fact that ringheads recently attempted to full strike my youtube channel despite the fact that my channels and videos adhere to the copyright laws and is protected by fair use of course youtube spelling this bs didn't actually strike me but instead notified me and sent me the report and because these people were mad at that it obviously didn't work, Rebooted Poppy has actually recently attempted to try and illegally blackmail me with a strike to silence me and my videos on her, which is a great indication that they are totally innocent guys, right? I mean, they want my videos wiped off the platform. That truly shows how they have nothing to hide. And they are currently so desperately attempting to pin me as a villain, it's insane. Ah, oh, so I'm the villain, but these people full striking other creators into submission and doing tons of other horrific stuff in which I'll cover soon is morally correct right guys and i don't even want to make videos on these people anymore but i have to notify people in case of anything bad happening regarding these individuals something really abrupt could happen and you guys would be like what's happening well these people is that that's what's happening to my channel youtube needs to take action on these people's accounts because they're breaking youtube terms of service multiple times under the guise of abusing the copyright system and i'm not standing for this at all and neither should you they are abusing their platform to silence small
smaller creators who speak up about their immoral actions and it's disgusting. In another story, Roblox literally allowed a crazy UGC item into the platform, which I, I have no idea how it managed to get through Roblox moderation, but Faith has actually returned, guys, in the form of the brand new UGC item called the Kid Toucher. That's right, the Kid Toucher is literally on the site and you can purchase it whenever you want. Like, this is literally just proof that the Roblox UGC program has transcended all boundaries of what we really thought would be possible. And I'm actually so happy that this is here because now you can literally become, I can't believe I'm saying this, a Kid Toucher in Roblox. You can become my bucket. That is brilliant. Wonderful. I, I, I'm, I'm actually stunned about how crazy the UGC program has gotten because you can look you because you can quite literally become Jeff the Killer in Roblox. Like, I mean, just look at my avatar right now. I'm a block of Jeff the Killer. And the whole UGC program is literally just full of copyrighted assets now. It is a lawsuit ready to happen. But I just found this a funny a little segue in the video because um, a lot of people are talking about it right now. So I just wanted to talk about it myself. Now, last topic comes in with Roblox deciding to do a Billy moment again and wipe another bundle off the face of Roblox being Steven. And Roblox News reported on this, and a tweet got 24,000 likes, which is literally insane. Will this be another Billy revolution, and will history repeat itself? Well, currently we have no idea. But this bundle wasn't taken down for copyright or anything like that. Despite the fact that Minecraft should really be eyeing up Roblox currently for the sheer amount of free knockoff Minecraft games present on the platform. However, nevertheless, people are still upset about Steven's unfortunate death. So make sure to like and subscribe if you want Steven to come back to his former glory. And let's campaign for his return. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new. Obviously, this video is not intended for hate, cyberbullying, harassment, or bullying. This is just an educational video and an informative video going over the entire situation as a whole. Also, make sure to check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.